Hello everyone, my name is Tyler and I'm a product manager at Firebase. I focus on security and developer tools and with me today is Rosalind. Hello, I'm Rosalind and I'm an engineer at Firebase with a focus on end user and developer security. As we all know, security is hard. Today, as more threats are discovered, protecting your users, their data, and access to your resources grows increasingly important. Currently, you can use Firebase authentication in combination with Firebase security rules to protect your users and their data. Firebase authentication allows you to determine that a user of your app is who they say they are, while Firebase security rules allows you to gate access to data based on who is trying to access it. But what about access to your resources? It's also important to make sure that only your trusted applications are able to use your backend resources. That's why we'd like to introduce Firebase App Check, a new platform to enhance app and resource security. Let's dig in a little deeper to better understand how Firebase App Check can help. Meet Taylor. She's an Android developer. Taylor is building an application for users to upload and store media content. Taylor develops with security in mind. In order to make sure that users can only access their own content or content that their friends have shared with them, Taylor has integrated her backend with Firebase Authentication. After launching her app on the Play Store, she saw steady growth and usage, a great success. One day, Taylor noticed a large spike in traffic to her backend, which didn't seem to fit usage patterns. After some investigation, Taylor found that the traffic didn't seem to be coming from her app. Someone had stolen her app credentials and was now using them to directly access her backend. Wow, Rosalind, that seems like a developer's worst nightmare. What can Taylor do? So there's a few things that Taylor could do in her situation. One example would be to rotate her security credentials so that the attacker no longer has access to her backend. She could also try adding restrictions to her API key. However, both of those approaches still have limitations. A better solution would be for Taylor to reject traffic that is not verified to be coming from her Android application. That seems like a perfect use case where Firebase App Check can come in. Taylor can use App Check to easily add this protection straight into her application. It's pretty awesome that there's an easy solution that Taylor can use to protect her server. But what exactly is App Check and how does it work? Great question, Rosalind. AppCheck is a new platform that protects access to your services by verifying that traffic is coming from your app. AppCheck achieves this security by doing two key things, app attestation and controlling resource access. App attestation is the process of verifying that it is your app running on a device out in the wild using attestation providers. The attestation providers attest that it really is your app out there. Resource access is controlled by ensuring that traffic includes credentials from AppCheck, proving that the request is coming from your app. So let's see how these flows work to protect your resources. Your app running on a user's device out in the world boots up. Your app contacts the attestation provider that you configured to attest that it is your app. Once attested, your app exchanges the attestation for an AppCheck token. When your app accesses your resources, say a database, your app will now pass along the AppCheck token with the request. The AppCheck token is verified by the AppCheck service enabling access to your resource. Now that we've seen the flows, what attestation providers are supported on AppCheck? On Android, AppCheck is integrated with SafetyNet. When your app calls SafetyNet, it provides a cryptographically signed attestation assessing the device's integrity. SafetyNet can be used to help determine whether your services are interacting with your genuine app running on a genuine Android device. For web, you can use reCAPTCHA to help attest that requests are coming from your hosted domain and are not from a bot. On iOS, AppCheck is being integrated with AppAttest and DeviceCheck. AppAttest gives your app a way to assert that requests sent to your services come from legitimate instances of your app. Be on the lookout as these will become available soon. We also offer a custom attestation integration where you can integrate your own app attestation provider. 
This will be helpful if you want to cover other platforms like IoT or desktop. Now that we know about providers, let's look at an example. You've written an Android app that uses cloud storage for Firebase. Normally, your app connects to storage and accesses the necessary data to serve your users. But how do you know that it is only your app accessing storage? You've registered your app with AppCheck and enforced the protections with storage. The AppCheck process starts with SafetyNet attesting to your app. Once your app passes the SafetyNet challenge, it is issued an attestation artifact. The artifact is exchanged for an AppCheck token that your app will use to access storage. As your app sends a request in, the storage API verifies that there is an authentic AppCheck token present. Since you set up enforcement mode, all requests to the API need to have the AppCheck token. You'll even find metrics in the console to monitor your traffic to your endpoint, so you can see the accepted and denied traffic, letting you rest easy knowing that all client traffic is coming from your app. Thanks for the detailed explanation, Tyler. But how do you set up AppCheck? Let's walk through an example of using Firebase AppCheck with cloud storage for Firebase in an Android application. There are two main steps when you are configuring Firebase AppCheck, app registration and enforcement. App registration involves registering your app and installing the client SDK. In the Firebase console, you register your app in AppCheck with the attestation provider of your choice. Once you integrate the client SDK into your application code, then your app will start obtaining and sending AppCheck tokens and requests to Firebase services. Requests with missing or invalid AppCheck tokens will still go through to the services, but you'll start seeing metrics in the AppCheck settings page that can inform your decision of whether or not to enforce AppCheck for a product. Turning on AppCheck enforcement for a Firebase product means that requests that don't have a valid AppCheck token attached will be rejected. Once you turn on enforcement for AppCheck, you will have fully enabled AppCheck protection for that product. Now let's see how to register an application in the Firebase console to use AppCheck. You can find the new AppCheck settings page as a tab under your project settings. Here, in the overview panel, you can see all the apps you have in your Firebase project, as well as their AppCheck registration status. To register your app to use AppCheck, you need to input some information in order to correctly configure the attestation providers for each platform. For Android, you'll need to enter your SHA-256 certificate, as well as enable the Android Device Verification API in the Cloud Console. For iOS and web, you'll configure Device Check or Recaptcha. After you've configured your app in the Firebase Console, it's time to integrate AppCheck into your application code. Client setup on all three platforms is super simple. For Android, just get a Firebase AppCheck instance and install a SafetyNet AppCheck provider factory. For web, you'll get an AppCheck instance and then call Activate to configure it with your recaptcha site key. For iOS, if you're using Device Check, all you need to do is include the Firebase AppCheck SDK and everything should be automatically configured. Now, let's go to Android Studio and add the code shown from before into my Android app. Let's build and run the app now and then try making a request. Awesome! There's not much happening visibly, but AppCheck tokens are now being included in my request to storage. Once you've completed your client integration, you can start monitoring AppCheck traffic in the Firebase console. Let's take a look at a Firebase project that has had AppCheck previously configured. Here, you can see the percentage of traffic to your project's cloud storage that is verified versus traffic that is likely from an outdated client versus traffic from an unknown origin versus malicious traffic. These are metrics you'll want to carefully consider before turning on enforcement for a product. Let's take a deeper dive through each category. Verified requests are those that have a valid AppCheck token attached. These are requests that have been attested to come from your trusted applications. Once enforcement is turned on, these are the only requests that will be allowed through. Next, we have unverified, likely outdated requests. These are requests that are probably coming from your applications, but from older versions of your app without AppCheck client integration. These requests don't have any AppCheck token attached, but based on other signals, we determined that this is most likely just because the request is coming from an old client. In my project, it looks like 40% of my requests are in this category. 
This probably means I don't want to turn on enforcement yet, right? Probably not yet. Of course, it's up to you to make that final decision, but turning on enforcement now will mean almost half of your users will have a broken experience on your app. That's good to know. I should encourage my users to upgrade to the latest version of my app so more requests are showing up as verified before turning on enforcement. Exactly. The next category of requests is unverified unknown origin. These are requests that don't have any app check token attached, and we also can't make an educated guess as to where this traffic is coming from. This traffic is most likely not coming from your applications. The last category is unverified malicious requests. These requests have an invalid app check token attached, meaning that they are also coming from outside your trusted applications. Yikes. If you have a large percentage of requests coming from these last two categories, then turning on app check enforcement can help stop this traffic. That's correct. Once you're happy with the percentage of traffic that shows as verified, you can turn on enforcement for a product. Be careful though. As a reminder, once you turn on enforcement, all traffic that is not in the verified category will be rejected. You'll want to make sure that enough of your requests are not coming from the likely outdated category before enforcing app check for a product to avoid breaking your users. Let's go to the project for my Android application now and turn on enforcement for storage. Now that app check is being enforced, let's try sending a request from the command line. As you can see, this request is now being rejected. However, if I make this request from a real device, it goes through successfully. Wow, that's awesome. So what happens if I'm developing a new app? When should I enforce app check? Since you won't have any outdated clients, we recommend enforcing right from the beginning of development. Ah, so I never have to worry about migrating if I'm protecting from the start. But what happens if I want to develop using an emulator? Great question. On Android, for example, emulators won't pass safety net attestation, which poses a problem for developing on emulators with app check enforced. This is why we also provide a debug app check provider for all three platforms to be used in emulated or simulated environments. Instead of attesting the application integrity, the debug app check provider exchanges a debug secret, which can be configured in a Firebase console for an app check token. It's awesome to see app check at work. We'd love for you to start integrating your apps today. App check is available for Android, iOS, and web apps and is integrated with cloud storage for Firebase, real-time database, and cloud functions for Firebase with more app attestation providers and product integrations on the way. Migrate your existing apps to AppCheck. If you're planning on launching an app to production, integrate with AppCheck sooner rather than later. This will save you the headache of migrating old clients in the future. Check out the guides in the Firebase docs and happy developing. <laughs> <laughs>